What's up, everyone? We have Frank in the car, Jeremy in the car, myself in the car, and pick him up, pick him oh. up. It's not Snaggle Fruits, but Mr. Tickle is here. He is here. Um, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. We're getting a really late start, guys. We suck. Mm -hmm. No, th this is the first clip I'm filming. We've been out since 8 o'clock in the morning or so, well, about, about 8.30. Um, so much stuff. This car is just loaded. The back, you can see how fucking loaded it is. There is so much stuff in here. Most of it belongs to Jeremy, Yay. but uh, there is some stuff I picked up. Frank, you picked up some stuff. Yep. We're dropping Frank off, so he's going to show you the stuff he got because it is pretty damn awesome. All right, start with the boring stuff. Unreal Tournament, Dead Life 3, and then... <laughs> we're double fine. Right Sesame Street monster yes. game. And then that was what, like three bucks. Yeah, it was like a dollar each. Yep. And then old awesome Mario Bros. cookie cutters. Cookie cutters still sealed. They were ten cents at one time. We went to this one yard sale that about ninety percent of the stuff in this car came from. It was yep. all eighties crap. Awesome old like Shasta soda. Uh, Mario from like 1993? Yeah, 93. Yeah. One of them still has soda, the other ones are yeah, empty. Um, and then a bunch of those... Uh, Nintendo Mario. cards, two packs from each like edition that they did. A sealed little shoelace like bow clips with Mario on it. The sale was really weird. Yeah. Lots of video game and like uh, TV show related stuff. A sealed Valentine's from Mario. <laughs> I used to, I had those when I was a kid in school, actually, I remember. And then this is really cool. And a little cup dispenser. You put little, like, little Dixie cups inside. Ooh, that was loud. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then your board game. Yeah, and then a big Wayne's World board game, which everything is resting on. Looks like it's complete in there. A VHS board game. Uh, he paid, it was, like, besides those games, it was, like, what, five bucks? Yeah, it for was everything five else. bucks for everything. Really super cheap. Mr. Tickle, you might be a better luck charm than uh, Snaggle Fruits because I didn't even get home yet and I got that box full of stuff. Has some Genesis games in it, uh, some random like Dreamcast stuff. Friend of mine, the same person I got the Sega Saturn lot from a few weeks back, he called me on the way home. I wasn't supposed to go to his house until like Monday or Tuesday, but he's like, I actually have about 40 minutes until I have to be at work if you want to come on by now. So we did, and it's now almost 3 o'clock and still not home. Have not had a garage sale day like this no, in a long, long time. time. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I don't even know what we're going to do with all this stuff. Hey, look! A box Rob the Robot NES! Oh, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. That, that one's mine. I uh, picked that up, but... Everything else is my shit. Ridiculous amount of stuff. Just bins of yeah, 80s stuff. Kevin McAllister! <laughs> Freaking creepy. There's turtle stuff. Roger the Rabbit. Weird board games. Mario Lunchbox. There's a friggin' E.T. guy down there, Mr. Peanut. Hulk Hogan cereal. Oh, yeah, Hulk Hogan cereal in the box. Burger King Frisbee, more Roger the Rabbit <laughs> the stuff. McGriff the Crime Dog, Nightlight. Just such oddball things. Alf Records. From, you know, like the 80s and early 90s. If you want to see all this stuff individually, and you're interested in maybe even possibly getting some of it, uh, he has an Instagram. An Instagram. What is it? Jerps93. J E R P S 93. We'll put the uh, link in the about section down below. So he'll post pictures of all this crap. And of course, I'll explain that in a second. And there's Super Nintendo stuff buried back down there. More game stuff. Oh my god. Well, uh, we, <laughs> we were at home. And then a lady called me and said that her husband approved selling some NES games that I looked at at a garage sale earlier today. And now we're driving in some horrible, horrible weather. It was, it was hailing a few seconds ago. Um, but we're going to go get some NES games. So here we go. Alright, so we uh, braved this horrible storm for two games. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, and Nightmare on Elm Street. Five dollars a piece. The guy said, uh, he wanted to keep like the Zeldas and the Marios, that kind of stuff, but didn't mind the uh, oddball games, which honestly works out better since obviously Mario and Zelda are easier to come by, so I'd say worth driving in a horrible, horrible storm for these two. No, we're gonna die! Yeah! <laughs> Officially, finally back home, safe and sound. That was one of the worst storms we've had this entire summer. Uh, now it's a beautiful day out, like it never even happened. Um, before I show you the stuff I got today and the stuff I got earlier this week, I'm going to do the game giveaway and Mr. Tickle is going to help out. He's going to do the drum roll for us this week. Yes, I just pulled Mr. Tickle out of my crotch area. All right, here we go. The winner 
of this week's random game on whatever system they want is Grandma Kittens. Congratulations, Grandma Kittens. Good name, too. Um, please send me either a personal message here on YouTube or on the Facebook fan page. Link to that in the About section down below. Let me know what system you want your random game to be for and your shipping address, and I'll have a game mailed out to you in the next week or so. Uh, and as always, there is a game giveaway starting right now. All you have to do is be subscribed, thumbs up this video. <laughs> Those two thumbs up right there. So be subscribed, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below. Comment can be about whatever you want, but suggestion this week, uh, since Jeremy got so many damn toys and cool things from like the 80s and stuff, what were you really into back when you were a kid? Now, I obviously, a lot of different age ranges watch this show. So when you were like in that 5 to 10 age range, what were you playing with a lot? Toys and games, not video games, but, you know, board games. For me, it would have been uh, Ninja Turtles. I was huge into those. Micro Machine Cars and Mighty Max little play sets. Those were like my top three. And like board games would have been like Mousetrap and Life and Monopoly, all the classic ones. But uh, let me know. That's your suggestion if you want to answer. It can be about whatever. So just subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below. That's how you enter. And you have until Friday at 11.59 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, to enter. And then the winner is always announced in the pickups video that following Sunday. Okay, so as of today's pickups... We have, uh, one of the first things I got was a PSP 3000. Um, it did have a game with it inside Midnight Club LA Remix. Um, this, they could not find the charger for it, uh, so they went ahead and did it for three bucks. Uh, he did not, it wouldn't turn on, and he's like, well, the last time I used it was a couple years ago, and it worked back then, but I, I don't know. So I, I did charge it briefly when I got home just to see if it would take a charge and turn on, and it did, so it does play fine. I uh, just need to get a charger for it, I guess. Then we have... Uh, my cat is laying on the bag. Come on. We have a bag of Super Nintendo stuff and one Wii game. And this was interesting because today I had a all three very nice ladies. I had a, one woman say that she uh, had her husband's NES games. One woman that said that uh, she had her husband's Super Nintendo games. And another one that said that her and her boyfriend might get rid of their N64 games. So kind of weird, and all three of them uh, got their contact information. So far, um, I've heard back from, well, all three of them, but out of the three, two of them actually got stuff from today, which is so rare, and it looks pretty decent for possibly getting at least something out of the woman that has the N64 stuff. So this was the Super Nintendo lady, and I we exchanged phone numbers, and I actually accidentally went back to her sale. We thought it was a different, we saw different signs on different sides of a block. So we went down, and it turns out, oh, it's the same sale, but it was a few hours later, we were heading back home, and uh, she was like, oh, my, my husband's here now. And we ended up following him back to their house. This was like a multifamily sale at someone else's house. And uh, it was in his garage, and it smelled pretty bad, and the system is in horrible shape. And uh, it is coming apart, if you can see down here. Uh, I don't know what that happened to it, what they did. It looks like it maybe fell off a shelf. All of the corners are cracked. Uh, I got the system and then a bag of games. Obviously, I mainly bought it for the games and stuff. <coughs> we have Miss Pac-Man Family Feud. If you notice, look how bad the Family Feud is. There was a lot of silverfish in the box that this stuff was in. Um, so I transferred into a bag so I didn't bring the silverfish in my house, but they ate the labels off of a few of these. Uniracers, pretty uh, fun, unique game on unicycles. We have Donkey Kong Country 3, Yoshi's Cookie, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. We found many copies in the last like month or so of Tournament Edition. We have Malopoly. I did say that weird, not really on purpose. Uh, Frogger. Nothing super crazy in this bag, like rarity-wise. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars in really filthy condition. Uh, one copy of Mario World. And two copies of Mario World. The two different uh, print versions. You can see all the text in a straight line and then... Super Mario World, Mario World being underneath of it. Um, and 
Donkey Kong Country, the first one. I always look to hopefully maybe see competition card printed on it one day. One day I'll find one that says that. And then Miss Pac-Man. Uh, and then we have two controllers uh, that are not in fantastic shape, but look like they should hopefully still work. Power cable and an RF. Um, Ten bucks. I got this. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. The Warriors. A sealed copy of Jade Empire on the Xbox, obviously. And I think that was it. I think it was just those three games and this. Uh, a dollar a piece for the items, so one buck for a 360 controller and a buck a piece on the games. That was actually just right in my neighborhood uh, as soon as we left this morning, turned one corner and, and got that. Apparently we'd already missed out on a PS2 and an Atari system, um, but someone left. There was like a row of Xbox and some really crappy 360 games and then the one controller. Um, at another sale, a mix of Xbox and 360 games. This is also the sale that I think... Uh, Frank got his few um, Xbox and 360 games at. These ended up being, I think there was one more. Maybe I'll, I'll come across it in a second. But uh, ended up being like a dollar and a quarter a piece or so. Um, Call of Duty World at War, which, no, it's okay. I thought it was sealed for a second. I was like, what? Call of Duty World at War, uh, Halo Combat Evolved, Robotech Invasion. And Grand Theft Auto 4. This was from a garage sale. They're water damaged. Obviously, I the disc, discs should still be fine, but NBA 2K14 on Xbox One and Yakuza Dead Souls. And then there was this slim 360 power cable. Uh, it was six bucks for the uh, three items. $2.50 each on the games and a dollar for the power cable. Slim power cables trade in for a lot at GameStop. I don't know the current trade value of them right now, but at times somewhere around like the $20 mark roughly. So always good to pick those up. We have, oh, this came from the garage sale that Jeremy got all those toys and random items from. Uh, two Mario Bros. figurines. Uh, we have one where Mario is shooting a fireball. These are both still sealed, obviously. And one where he's climbing up the vine. Uh, pretty good condition. This one has, like, Sharpie written over the barcode. But I thought these were cool little just items for the game room. This came from Josh's store, actually. Uh, a little bit of update. A little bit of an update on that. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with Josh and Aaron's stores as of right now. I believe one of them is closing. But uh, got Punch-Out!, Chippendales Rescue Rangers, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, Donkey Kong Land 2, and Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it was 30, 30 bucks, and then a little bit of trade credit. Um, he had there's some manuals I think I have for 64 games that he was interested in. Oh, one more garage sale find for the day. Three dollars for a PlayStation original PlayStation. No games. Two controllers. Hook up cables and one off-brand memory card. That was actually at a th little thrift store that had posted up online that they were having like a garage sale. And apparently, when we got there, the guy's like, "I didn't post that. I don't know who's posting that, but it was not me." But either way, he's like, "I, I do have some game-related stuff, so bought that for three bucks." Um, pawn shop stuff. I got two of these today: Assassin's Creed Unity. And UFC on the PS4, it was 25 for the two of those, so 12.50 each. Then I got <clears throat> uh, this was three days ago from the same pawn shop, uh, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare, Borderlands: The Pre-Sequel, and Borderlands 2: Game of the Year Edition. It was 12 bucks for the three of those. That was an awesome deal. Uh, this was. Uh, someone I had contacted like a couple weeks ago, they were going to pull out their Super Nintendo games. Pulled them all out, they were all sports titles, except for one copy of Link to the Past. So that was decent, five bucks for Link to the Past. This stack of stuff is the best items out of the box that I showed you a really quick clip of from the car. Uh, same guy I got all the Saturn games from from a couple weeks ago. Uh, I paid a hundred bucks for the box, had a bunch of random items in it, some promo stuff, uh, but these are the best games out of it. Infinite Space, uh, very hard to find. Actually, I should talk about that for a second. <laughs> very hard to find game on the DS. 
um, made by Platinum Games, same people that did uh, Bayonetta and Mad World. Really, really awesome developer. Uh, check it out if you like really deep space simulation type of games. Uh, we have Legend of Kagi 2, Super Scribble Knots. Uh, Gym Fire Complete on the Genesis. It has the price tag back from Babbage's uh, for $70 on there. We have Fantasy Star 3 Complete. A copy of uh, Sylph Heed on the Sega CD. I think the manual has seen better days. Looks like the cover is coming off of it. We have Fantasy Star 4. Missing the manual, um, but I actually don't have a box for my Fantasy Star 4, so I was very happy to see that. Still need to get a manual for it. Uh, we have Dungeons & Dragons, Warrior of the Eternal Sun, um, the guidebook to that, the Fantasy Star uh, hint book, sorry, for Fantasy Star 2. We have Fantasy Star 2. Shining in the Darkness. He had the Shining games on the Saturn, and obviously uh, was a pretty big fan of them. Dungeons & Dragons, Warrior of the Eternal Sun, the game, and Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. That was the best stuff out of that box. There were, like, so there was quite a few other items. Uh, there was like a Max Payne statue in there. And this is missing the coin out of it, but I thought it was still pretty cool. The uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, like 10th anniversary little thing. Just a few more things to show you, and then like the grand finale item. Uh, I have to give a thanks to Joseph. Uh, he hooked me up with a really good deal on a couple of handheld systems that I did not have in my collection color-wise. We have a really nice condition green PSP. This came with a charger and a really nice condition metallic blue Game Boy Pocket. Uh, he kept really good care of these. And then I got Puzzle Quest, Challenge of the Warlords, and then a decapitated Spyro head. And this um, is actually a promo item, I believe, that came from E3 uh, back in the early 2000s. And it's a little pencil topper, so that's kind of cool. I love little promo items like that. Uh, so thank you, Joseph. And then the grand finale, which you already kind of saw in the back of the car. But i got to tell you the really quick story. This came from the garage sale that had all the toys and the stuff that Jeremy got and those couple little Mario figurines that I got. This was the only video game, system game, whatever you, you know, want to classify that as, only video game thing there. And we saw it from the car as we were driving up, and we booked it over, and some guy had it in his hands. And I'm instantly, like, freaking out. It was actually someone I know uh, from going to garage sales and seeing about the flea market. He opened it up, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, I'm going to buy this from you no matter what. So if you buy it, I'm going to buy it from you. He opened it up and pulled out the styrofoam, lifted it up, and the system wasn't in there. For me, that doesn't really matter, because everything else was in here. The, <laughs> Rob the Robots... All those little, uh, you know, Jeremite things and, and everything was in there. So in the phone, both pieces of the phone was there. So I was like, that's what I really cared about. Once he saw that, he passed on it. I let out a nice sigh of, sigh of relief. And then uh, when they said they only wanted $15 for it is what I paid for this. 15 bucks. This is one of the items that I have wanted really badly in my collection. I've had the opportunity to get two uh, I was going to be getting one, probably at Retropalooza this year, but not for $15. It was going to be quite a bit more than that. Um, but th thank you, Billy Mac, because I was going to get it from Billy Mac, but uh, I, I, I do now have one. And uh, it is in pretty damn good shape. The only issue, this side of the box, you see the uh, tab has been, like, ripped right there. Uh, I, can ta I can glue that back down, I'll tape it back down, and that should be pretty damn decent. Um, but like I said, I... The system's missing out of it, but that's not a big deal. I have multiple systems, uh, you know, box systems. If I really wanted to, I could take the system out of one of the lesser cool ones and throw it in there. Um, thank you all for watching. This is the end of the video, I suppose. And don't forget to enter the game giveaway. Just be subscribed, thumbs up the video, leave a comment down below. And I will talk to you all later. Love you. Peace.